Hello everybody and welcome to lessons two and three of English, okay? A couple of days worth of English here and you'll, you'll see why in a little bit. But our job today, our main job today is to write in the first person perspective, okay? Again, as ever, I feel like we always say this, it sounds complicated but it's not. Right? Very, very easy. Very yeah. easy, <clears throat> okay? So, first person perspective, okay? That's when you're writing or talking from your own point of view or someone is writing or talking from their own point of view. So for example, this little guy here is saying, I went to the park, okay? Oh. Now he's talking about himself, yeah. isn't he? How do you know he's talking about himself? Well, he said I. Absolutely, yeah. okay, simple as that, all right? I went to the park, I did this, I did that. That's first person, that's when you're talking about yourself, okay? It can involve other people as well, I might say, me and Mr. Fenn are making a video. Yes. That's still the first person because I'm, I'm talking yourself. from my point of mm. view. Okay. And that's what we mean by perspective, by the way, just point of view. All right. So when you're saying things, you're speaking, you're writing from your own point of view, that's the first person perspective. All right. Now, when you're talking or writing about other people, okay, not from your perspective, but about them, that's what's called the third person perspective. So this guy here is now talking about these people over here and he's saying they went to the park, okay? Now he's not talking from his own perspective anymore, is he? He's not talking about what he's doing, mm. he's talking about those other people. How can you tell this is third person? But right. he's used this word here, they. They, they absolutely. They went to the park, yeah. Okay, now if he'd said we went to the park, that would be... Well, that's first person. Yes, yeah. because then he's involved, isn't yeah, he? Okay? Yeah, yeah. But he's not involved, okay? He's yeah. separate to it. So that's third person. He's talking about other people. Now, different things are written in different perspectives. Fiction, the stories you read, most of the time, not always, but a lot of the time, they're written from the third person perspective, okay? If you think about, for example, The Three Little Pigs, that's not me and my pig brothers went off and built houses, we did this. It talks about them separately, doesn't it? The three little pigs did yeah. this, they did that. When we read Bigu, again, that's third person. It's not written as Bigu, is it? It's not, I went to a... No. Had like adventures. Bigu was sad. Bigu exactly. Was, yeah. Okay? okay, so a lot of stories are written in the third person mm. perspective. Okay? First person tends to be when we're writing about our own experiences, like when we write recounts, okay? So, the key thing though, as we've already picked up on, is the pronouns we use, okay? Now, pronouns are words that can go in place of a name. So, for example, if I'm talking about myself, I don't have to say, Mr. Lake went to the shop, Mr. Lake mm. bought a sandwich, okay? I would use the pronoun I, okay? Or in some sentences, me, okay? Like, me and Mr. Fenn went to the shop, okay? Mm. Again, they, well, that can be used when you're talking about a group of people, can't it, okay? They were, instead of saying all their names, like Tom, Fred, and Bob, you can just say they. Yes. To cover a group of people. Yeah. All right, then he and she, again, if we're talking about boys or girls, or you, instead of saying Mr. Fenn, I could just say you. Could yeah. Be. Yeah. Instead of saying, Mr. Fenn is my friend, I could say, you are my friend. All right? So the pronouns that we use depend on whether we're talking from or writing from the first person perspective <coughs> or the third person perspective. Okay? When it's first person, we're going to use which ones, Mr. Fenn? I, me, yeah. or they. Yep. Yeah. Do you think we'd use they? Uh, sorry. Do you know I, I wasn't thinking? Good, yeah, always check, yeah. So if it's first person, you use like I or me. Yep, Yeah, absolutely. I or me, yeah. You might also use we. We, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Do you know the issue is because you circled that? Yeah, it is, yeah. There's always thing. I, I'm a little bit tired today. I was just looking... All right, here you go, switch your brain on. It's all right. Okay. We all make mistakes, Mr. Fenn. Yeah. So I, we, me, yes. they're all first person. That's from my point of view, okay? And then if it's third person, We'd use they. They, he, she. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Not so much that one, but we don't need to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, not. Okay. Yeah. So, first person, I, we, me. Third person, 
he, she, they. Okay, with that in mind then, let's look at the sum. Oh, so there we go. Just double checking me, mm. right? We've got I, we, the first person, you could have me as well. Third person, he, she, it. We didn't talk about it, but that would also yeah. work. He, she, it, they. Second person does exist. We're not going to worry about that. Mm. Okay, so, little quiz time then. Is it first person written from your own perspective or somebody's own perspective or third person? Let's look at these sentences. So, have a think. First one. I went to the shop. Is it first person or third person? What do we think? Mr. Fed. First person. Brilliant. Why is it first person? Because it's person? saying I, so it's from their perspective. Brilliant. Or... Pronoun is yeah. I. So I'm talking about the, whoever's writing about this yeah. is talking about themselves. Okay. So we got first person. I'm going to colour code them. Red is first person. Green is third person. Okay. He was feeling upset. Have a think, guys. Is it first person or third person? Think what the pronoun is there. And is it a first person pronoun or a third person pronoun? What do you reckon, Mr. Penn? That is third person. Yeah. Um, because it used he. Absolutely. So you're talking about from yeah, other people. Yeah, you're talking about other it? people. Yeah. Not from your own point of view, you're talking about other people. Okay. Me and my brother played football. Okay, um, so my brother and I, so me and my brother play football. It's informal. <laughs> okay, me and my brother play football. That is first person because it's sort of, if I had written that, it's about my experience. My exactly, point of you're view. talking yeah. from your point of view. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I saw a bird flying in the sky. Again, I think that would be um, first person. Yep. Because uh, I saw something, it's my point of view, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Fantastic. Okay, last couple. They were being unkind. Ah, okay. So that's, um, that's third person. And yep. You can see they is talking about other people. It's yeah. not about me, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. And then finally, he liked to eat carrots. Again, we've got that word he, so it's not it's not all about me, it's no, someone it's else. Other people. Third person, yeah. Absolutely right. There we go. Mm. Simple as that, okay? So just to recap one more time, first person, we've got I, we, me. Okay, third person, we've got he, she, it, they. Okay. Those are the pronouns we use. Now today, we're going to be sticking to this first person because you're going to write about your own experiences doing something hopefully quite fun today all right now can you remember mr fenn what did we do last week in english um well we we came up with our our own games for the uh the home winter olympics fantastic we did okay and you'll see on the website you've been given the link to the website we put all of these games up on the website okay and we would like you today to take part in as many of those events as you can, all right? Simple as that, okay? We want you to take part in as many of them as you can. But there is a little bit of a writing task to go alongside this as well, okay? Because what we'd also like you to do is write about your experiences of the events. So you're gonna be writing in the... First person. Brilliant, because <clears throat> you're writing about yourself, yes. your experiences, okay? So we've got some sentence starters here. We've got, I played, I had to, I enjoyed this because, and then these ones are kind of, you wouldn't use both of them, it's either or. I think I was good at this because, or I don't think this was my best event because. All right, so for us guys, we haven't, we're filming this, aren't we? Not live, we're not coming to you live. We're doing this before we've seen all of your Winter Olympic events, mm -hmm. aren't we? Okay, so I can't write about those ones right now. So I'm gonna write about the Summer Olympic ones that you've seen me take part in already. So as an example, I'll start with the plane throwing one. So I played, I played plane throwing. Okay, 
and then it all stops. So for this one, I had, well, I had to make a paper plane and throw it as far as I could. Okay, yeah. So I had to make Paper plane and see how far I could throw it. Okay. Now, I liked this one, I enjoyed this one because I like trying to beat my own score each time because you kind of set a high score, don't you, with this and then you're, yeah. you're trying to beat it. So, I like this because I was trying, I was trying, past progressive there, I like this because I was trying to beat my score. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I, so, I enjoyed this and enjoyed this because I was trying to beat my, I'm going to put my high score. However, as you guys will have seen from the video, I don't think I was very good at this one. In fact, I, I don't think this was my best event at all. I think it's because I didn't do a good job of making my paper plane. Because every time I threw it, it just went straight uh, down to the yeah, ground. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think this was my best event because the plane never went very far. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And again, can you see what we, we always do this, don't we, Mr. Fenn? Before I write, we just sort of Say chat about it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it much easier because then when I start writing, I already know what I'm going to say. Yes. So, I don't think, a little contraction there from do not, I don't think this was my best event. Because the plane never went far. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're having a go at an event, okay? Then you're writing simply about your experiences, so what you played, Briefly, what you had to do, uh, why you liked the activity, and then whether you were good or not so good at it, and why, okay? So that is your job. And you can do this as many times as you want, basically. There are, there are loads of events up to take part in. And over today and tomorrow, we just want you to have a go at some of the events, and then just sort of reflect on them, and write about how you got on, all right? Simple as that. So have fun with your Olympic events, and we look forward to you seeing and reading your reflections on them. Yes, we look forward to that lovely, neat handwriting. Of course. Brilliant. Have fun, guys.